Y'all get ready? Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, I hope you guys are doing good. Happy Sunday. I know it's been a while since y'all see me on camera, but that is because I have been so busy. As you guys know, I've been announcing on my Instagram page, my skincare line is getting ready to drop. I've been working on my baby now for almost eight months. It's been a long eight months of, you know, trials and tests and meeting with manufacturers and just getting everything together. So my launch party is going to be um, November 3rd in the Twin Cities. So if you're one of my Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota, you know what I mean, tea sippers, make sure you send me an email or you send me a DM so I can get you the link for you to register to come to the event. It's gonna be a really nice meet and greet slash launch and we'll also be going live as well. So people who are not able to attend in the Twin Cities, you guys will be able to watch the launch party. So I've been working really super hard on this. So that's why I haven't had time to get on camera. But you know what? Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Today I got time, cuz. Hey, hey, today I got time, cuz. So I'm on camera, okay? And I want to come on here and talk about the whole Beyonce situation. We were talking about this on Instagram. And I think this is a great segue because it's about business, it's about trademarks. And I feel like a lot of our people don't understand business, they don't understand protecting themselves. So I wanted to make this video, okay? So if you guys do not know, Beyonce has been in a legal battle with the woman named Veronica Morales for years about the name Blue Ivy, okay? So what's going down is this, Morales started her um, company, it's a wedding planning company called Blue Ivy. She started this back in 2009. She has a business fan page. She has, you know, Instagram page, what I think like maybe 5,000 followers or something like that. And so she started this in 2009 and she decided to trademark it in September of 2012. Blue Ivy was born January 7th, 2012. So she trademarked it a few months before Blue Ivy was born, okay? So Beyonce tried to trademark it in 2012 as well, only to find out, well, that name has been taken. Beyonce's trying to trademark Blue Ivy Carter. The ladies' company is Blue Ivy. She doesn't want Beyonce to have it because it's too similar to her company name. And a lot of times, the trademark offices will deny it. If it's something that close, they'll deny it. But the fact that it's Beyonce, they're trying to give her a leg to stand on, and Veronica Morales is fighting back. So this is what's being reported. Y'all go ahead and check this out. So they're saying the wedding planner fighting Beyonce in court is attempting to shut down the singer's claim that her daughter Blue Ivy is a cultural icon. According to court documents, Veronica Morales is responding to Beyonce's recent court filings in their nasty battle. Beyonce and Morales have been locked in a dispute over the trademark for years. Beyonce has been trying to get the trademark to her daughter's name, but Morales claims she has already been using it. Beyonce recently laid out the entire argument for being granted the trademark. Meanwhile, Beyonce is attempting to trademark her daughter's full name, Blue Ivy Carter, not Blue Ivy, claiming that Morales' company is just a small business with just three regional offices and a handful of employees, while her seven-year-old daughter is a cultural icon. Morales claims that consumers are likely to be confused between a boutique wedding planning business and Blue Ivy Carter, the daughter of two of the most famous performers in the world, is frivolous and should be refused in its entirety, Beyonce said according to court documents. Morales, whose company has offices in Boston, South Florida, Los Angeles, shot down the celebrities claims that their daughter was a cultural icon while accusing Beyonce of trying to skirt the law. Beyonce's company is trying to skirt the law and recently argued that the seven-year-old Blue Ivy Carter is a cultural icon in the United States. According to Wikipedia, a cultural icon is an artifact that is identified by members of the culture as a representative of that culture, such as apple pie, baseball, United States flag. Beyonce and Jay-Z were denied the Blue Ivy Carter trademark back in October 2012 with the intention of using the name for a variety of products. The judge sided with Morales back then and the case has continued on ever since. The Carters filed the trademark paperwork in 2016 and Morales served them with the deposition a year later. Morales allegedly offered to sell both the wedding and event business as well as Blue Ivy trademark to the powerful couple for $10 million. However, the Carters declined that offer. Honey. All right, you guys just heard me read that. 
This entire situation is crazy. This battle has been going on for years. I wonder instead of Blue Ivy, if Green Envy is available, okay? Because there's definitely some delusions of grandeur going on here. Now you guys know I'm a fan of Queen B. I'm a Beyonce fan. I love, you know, the family, the kids, all that stuff, okay? But right is right, wrong is wrong. And what I don't like is when celebrities try to, you know what I'm saying, basically bogart their way and use their status as a way to undermine the law, okay? If you know anything about trademark, you cannot have anything that's close to somebody else's name. People are trying to say that it's okay and this woman's just being over the top. Blue Ivy Carter is different from Blue Ivy. Not necessarily, okay? You cannot have similar trademarks that can confuse people. And the problem is when Beyonce initially filed, she filed with intent to use. And since then, Beyonce has done nothing with this whole supposed Blue Ivy Carter brand. Had she at least come out with, you know, t-shirts and merchandise and all that stuff, maybe she might have, you know, a leg to stand on, but she hasn't. And the reason why she hasn't is she didn't want to put all that money into it just for the courts to side with Morales. So that makes sense, okay? The thing is, I really wish Morales would have basically trademarked this name back in 2009 when she started her company. Had she initially just trademarked it that soon, it probably would be even better for her. But the fact that she waited the same year as Beyonce's daughter was born is where a lot of the confusion is coming in. So from what I'm reading, she initially trademarked it in September. Blue Ivy wasn't born until January. Other people are saying that she didn't trademark it in September, that she trademarked it after Blue Ivy was born because she realized that that was the name of Beyonce's daughter. So she ran to trademark it so it wouldn't affect her business. Either way, if she trademarked it after January or before January, her trademark was submitted first. She beat Jay-Z and Beyonce to the punch, okay? Point blank period. That's what she did. And by law, they don't have any rights to try and use her name or add something to the name. And for them to say, well, she's just a small business, she has three regional offices, and my daughter is a cultural icon, that's a bit much, okay? Granted, Blue Ivy's a beautiful girl. Everybody knows when you hear the name Blue Ivy, I don't think about this wedding planning business. I think of Beyonce's daughter. But with that being said, that doesn't make it right. That doesn't mean because we know who your daughter is or your daughter is more popular than this person, she should just get the trademark. That's not okay. And I see this happen a lot with a lot of celebrities. And that's why I always tell people, when you have an idea, when you have a solid business plan, even before you file for your LLC, because a lot of people will run, get an LLC, get an EIN number. That's easy. That takes like two weeks to get. But they forget about the, the trademark part of it because who who owns the trademark owns the company. And we've seen this happen time and time again, unfortunately, with a lot of black businesses. Well, they're running at an LLC. You know what I'm saying? This is my black business LLC. And then the business will start to grow. People will start to get their products, get their merchandise. And then they feel like, oh, well, let me go ahead and trademark it now that it's popular. And they go to trademark it. And guess what? That trademark belongs to somebody else. And if that person who happens to be in another state happens to find out that you're selling merchandise or selling products based underneath that trademark that they paid money for, you can then be sued and they can take your business, literally. You know, so you have to make sure all your ducks are in a row. You have to make sure all your T's are crossed, all your I's are dotted. Even before I met with my manufacturer for my skincare line, I first came up with the name, then I designed the logo, and then I went and did a trademark search to make sure that nobody had the name that I was looking to use, nobody had the logo that came to me, and then I submitted everything. Everything has been approved for months now, okay? So once everything was submitted and locked in, then at that point I filed for um, the LLC, the EIN number, and then started talking to the manufacturers, okay? So that's what you need to do when you're going about starting a business. I don't care if it's hair care, skin care, you know what I'm saying, clothing. You need to make sure the trademarks are filed first. You need to go through the trademark.com and look for these names, look for these logos, make sure nobody else owns it. That's where Beyonce and them failed. If they wanted to really monetize and make clothing and purchases off of their daughter, first of all, they're celebrities. Even if they named their daughter Lemonhead Ivy, you know what I'm saying? People would still rock with anything they put out because they're Beyonce and Jay-Z. So if they knew they wanted to use that unique name, Blue Ivy, they really should have trademarked it while Beyonce was pregnant because had they trademarked it, nobody else was using that name. 
the company was, but the company hadn't trademarked it. So had they done it while Beyonce was pregnant, Beyonce would not own the name. But because they thought the name was so unique and that nobody else would have it, they didn't bother doing a trademark search for the name. So when they went to submit it, here goes this trademark popping up saying, nope, this is not going to be approved too close to this blue ivy. So that's what people need to really realize when you're going about starting a business, even a slogan. And, you know, to trademark stuff is not cheap. I've probably spent over $1,000 trademarking everything from my skincare line, from the name to the logo to the slogan that I'm going to be using. I made sure to trademark it because I know the slogan is going to be damn piping hot, okay? So you got to do it. You know, even though it costs money, it can be anywhere from $275 to $500 per trademark. You do what you have to do if you're serious about running your own business, if you're serious about running your own company. And that's why I said, obviously, when she started her wedding um, company, she wasn't super serious until she seen it was taken off. So once she seen it was taken off, that's when she went to trademark it. But you should have enough faith in yourself to know that regardless of the situation, I believe in myself, I believe in my brand, I'm trademarking it, I'm doing all the paperwork, and I'm gonna put everything that I need to put into it. So that's what folks need to start thinking when they go about starting companies, starting businesses. Make sure your paperwork is on point because if it's not, you will find yourself in a situation like Beyonce. Now it's gonna be very, very interesting to see how this plays out. Morales also gave an interview with the Daily Mail at one point, and she said that she was not offered. She did not offer them to give her $10 million for the name and all that stuff. She wants her company name. That's her business. That's her baby. So it'll be interesting to see if she does eventually sell to Jay-Z and Beyonce, if they come up to some type of agreement. But at the end of the day, per trademark law, she has the right to not allow them to trademark the name Blue Ivy Carter because it's direct competition and it's too close to her business, Blue Ivy. That is the law. And I don't think because Beyonce is Beyonce and Jay-Z is Jay-Z, they should be allowed to skirt that. Because if that was your business, you definitely feel some type of way. If some celebrity says, well, I gave birth to this, you know, iconic child. So I need your trademark that you spent your blood, sweat, and tears on and your business that you spent building because I'm Beyonce. So I don't agree with that at all. That's my opinion. I'm sure the beehive will come for me. It's cool. I'm ready. Got my bug sprayed, bitch. Okay. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit subscribe. And most importantly, don't forget to hit the notification bell. So me down with the notification squad. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Let me know your thoughts on all this drama concerning Beyonce and Veronica Morales fighting over the Blue Ivy Carter trademark. Do you stand with Beyonce on this one? Or do you feel like, no, Beyonce's wrong. She's trying to steamroll small business businesses and then how do you feel about veronica do you feel like she's in the right or do you feel like she's only doing this for publicity and she should just give beyonce the trademark so let's go ahead and get the discussion popping go ahead and leave a comment and once again make sure you guys mark your calendars for november 3rd that is my skincare launch party and i cannot wait all right deuces beyonce. Beyonce.